Hey guys, Hassan one back up once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to episode 8, I think it is now, of Grid Auto Sport Let's Play, or Dre Plays you could say on the video I suppose. Um, okay, coming back again for the first episode in a while. Um, I didn't I didn't really have an Autosport video last week and that's only really because you just had a week of it, so I gave it a break. But the new schedule will start from now, so like I said in the last episode, You'll be getting an Autosport, a F1 2013, and a MotoGP video every week at least once. So, hopefully, the new schedule will mean, you know, everybody's happy in the end, hopefully. Okay, I checked the votes in the last episode. There was an overwhelming winner. It was Open Wheel. So, let's go back to Open Wheel, shall we? And uh, we're going to the IBAC GP League. With uh, three events, um, we have a Formula C challenge, and then we have a cup. That should be fun. I think it's a it's a Caterham SP cup. That should be a bit different. You did absolutely everything right last season, so have a look at your choices going forward. Razor okay. Motorsports are upping their game and have an offer you should consider. Razor, basically finish above Intel. For more XP, finish sick for above in the Garmin prototype challenge. Intel's livery looks nice. We'll go with Intel. Uh, so we go into the circuit to Mont Tremblant uh, at the Grand Prix circuit, and then we have the Yas Marina International circuit as well. Oh god, it's free events here. So it's a free event champ and a cup race. This is going to be a big episode. You've got Hockenheim as well, so. Hopefully I don't suck in Tromblon too much. I've seen a lot of YouTubers struggle around that track. This is, so this could be the longest episode we've done to date. Three events and a cup. It's loaded. But hopefully more exciting for you. But yeah, uh... I know, also I said I'll be using Autosport to talk more about things which aren't not entirely, you know, Formula 1 or MotoGP related, but it's nice to be playing this game again for, a little, for the first time in a little while, and you guys seem to really dig open wheels, so, I mean, if there's one, if there's two disciplines that always come up in the voting, one of them is open wheel, the other one is touring cars, you seem to really like the touring cars as well, so, that will definitely get involved a bit more often, but, yeah. Uh, I know people were asking me about the New England Patriots game on Sunday night. The NFL's kicked off again, and uh, yeah. The less we talk about that, the better, I think. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Steering damage off the opening corner. Oh god, we have a spin up. But yeah, I mean, we started out, the game was a bit deceptive in general. It was a bit of a catfish in my opinion. And the reason why I say it was a bit of a catfish. G cut any inside here, nice. The reason I say that is because we were up 20 to 10 at half time. And Miami had three turnovers in that half, and we were only up by 10 points. Bit deceptive. In the second half, we got exposed. The offensive line played terrible, and we just couldn't get any offense going as a result of that. It was a pretty painful game all in. More than seven seconds off the lead. Jeez. Got to, got to start cutting that gap down. I must admit the steering damage is not helping, but a lot of cars seem to get caught out by that corner. Both while oversteer, while in a bit of contact too. I love this run up here to this hairpin though. We're dive bombing like Kobayashi in Japan. Oh yeah. Still 6.2 seconds off the lead though, which isn't ideal. 
Oh Jesus! Let's try that again. That did, that did not go. That did not go well. Had to ease off a little bit there. Didn't want to go over the white lines again. Down the inside of you, sir. Oh, another car's gone over. Has got a, another car's kind of oversteered there. We've got a draft going on here. Fastest lap, lap of the race down the inside. That's the best I've taken that corner so far. We're up into sixth. Another car's. These open wheelers are oversteering around here a lot. And, We are picking them off one by one here. It's quite, it's, it's becoming quite fun. Okay, Leo Turner next. This is like, as I dare into the hairpin. Hasn't got enough room for a cutback. We're into fourth. Now we've got a bit more open air to play. We'll see if we can catch up to Evan Kennedy for a top three spot. If only I had a fully healthy car. Last corner. I can see Kennedy in the distance. We might be able to get him if we have a really good final lap. We're definitely the fastest guy on track. Get another fastest lap of the race. Let's see if Kennedy takes this corner up. Oh, he's oversteered it again and he's run wide. Gonna go the long way around. And we got him. Break a little bit early to get, to get the better line out of the hairpin. The two Raven West boys are straight up ahead. They're only two seconds behind now. I'm going, oh, I've got it. I might as well use my last flashback here. Because if it gets me a little bit of last ditch momentum, why not use it, you know? Or oh, is that a bat marker back there? It is a bat marker. With a wrecked car. Took the line a little bit wrong as a result there, but. If I had one more lap, we would have got him, but third place will do. That was fun. Those AI were making a ton of mistakes on the oversteery cars, and I was just picking them off one by one. Finished just one, finished just one point one seconds behind them in the end. Uh, I was the only guy that had a lap under one one eleven, let alone one oh nine at the end. And there we saw, we saw, uh, if it was Leo Heike there at the back for Razor, have a completely mangled car and finished a lap down. Bizarre. So yeah, third place. How did Rick Scott get 27 points? Huh. Gotcha, gotcha, the scoring system for that again. But third's not bad. I keep forgetting it's two races per event now as well, so... It's, it's this qualifying order I've now got to fight from the back again, which is going to be a little bit irritating. Open wheel and this difficulty system I chose for myself is is, is going to basically make it a bit of a challenge. Um, but we'll see what we can do. But the thing is, you are getting a lot of racing in this episode, though. So I guess that makes sense. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm not going through the whole race of steering damage again for the sake of it. Look at all those cars that got caught up and I went around the outside of them. I'm up to sixth place now already. I was thinking about a move on Jules Clement there, but whoa, I oversteered the lot there. Lovely move. 
I feel like Sebastian Vettel at Abu Dhabi 20, 2012 all over again where I was just picking off dudes for fun. That was so much fun. It's Janice challenging too. Got a nice run out of that corner on Leo Turner here. Turner's getting defensive. Nice. Okay, Aaron O'Sullivan now. He's next in third place, then the two Raven West boys. Three laps left. Oh, my game's frozen a little bit there. My game froze it for a second there as a result. It kind of uh, threw me off my line a little bit. God, these cars are going so deep into that apex, and I've got to go the long way around again. But it works. I love that move. Oh, that was a white line penalty. Unlucky. Breaking about, I'm breaking about 80 meters there for that hairpin. But the AI seemed to be really tentative on the breaking for that corner. But now we got two clear laps to even get up to Raven West again. They've got a good run out of that corner, almost in their slipstream now. Hello, boys. I'm here to play a little bit early this time. Let's dance. Oh, this could end bad. This could end very badly. I'm in a Raven West sandwich. Had to force Wesley to back off on that one. I was caught, I was basically caught in what the police do to slow down like a rolling roadblock. Whoa! Rick Scott going very slowly around that corner. Must have been afraid of losing the car. That's the best I've taken the hairpin all day. Those boys are going to scrap, but I'm just going to pull off into the distance now because I love the open wheelers in this game. This Formula C car is so nice to drive. It's so much fun. You know a car is nice when you want to push it and see how far it can go. It's, it's, it's awesome. Also, I'm also still kind of groggy from the uh, Monday night game we had on football-wise. Um, we actually had two games. I didn't get a chance to stay up and see the whole Cardinals Chargers game. Um, but I did see the uh, I did see uh, the Giants get stuffed by the Lions, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Mainly because as a Patriots fan, you automatically kind of hate the Giants. So whenever Eli Manning kind of messes up, it's very it's very satisfying. And Manning's been playing terribly in the regular season now for like the last two or three years. But for some reason, whenever he makes a playoffs, he steps it up. It's it's bizarre. Why can't you do that in post, in do or die games in the, in the regular season? I do not understand. It's weird, you know, but a lot of you know, a lot of English fans still see it as all the you know, the rings are the most important thing when Peyton Manning has had five MVPs. And I, I, like, like people keep saying that Eli's better than Peyton because oh, Eli's won two rings to Peyton's one, and I'm like, that's such a dumb argument. Like, there's so many average court QBs that have won two Super Bowls. It's it's not a fair argument. Peyton got one, which is massively important, but he is arguably one of the best QBs ever, you know. And this is coming from me, a Patriots fan who appreciates the hell out of Tom Brady. But, you know, Brady and Manning are very close. I've always said that. Anyway, very straightforward win in the end there. That was better, and... Now you can see the difference of getting caught up behind other cars and the difference it makes. Look at a 109-1 in that race. So yeah, 26 points for the win. I think, I think, I think actually you get a bonus point for fastest lap, which is always nice. Um, Rick Scott second, Aaron Wesley third. So we're only three points off the top after the first event of three. Intel Motorsport there in second as a team, uh, just ahead of Team Kicker. Raven West though pulling away with 72 points. A lot of XP, 8,770. Okay, one down, two to go. Event two, 
is going to be that Montserrat track that we're going to now. Oh, my circuit Mont Tremblant. That looks like a proper Grand Prix circuit, though, doesn't it? <laughs> this could be tricky, because like I said, I saw Alex Zafra do this in the Indy cars, and he really struggled, so... I'm kind of worried, because this circuit looks very technical. Um, very, very flowing, if that makes any sense. I might... I mean, I was tempted to take the practice time, but I'm just going to dive right in and see what happens. This may not be entirely a, right, a good idea, but let's see what happens. And that's obviously the it's only first corner mayhem as well. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. So the first corner's flat. Up ahead. Been a spin out. Oh god. Another spin. Oh god, away with that one. Ah. Uh, tried to make the corner. Hit somebody. Went very wide. It's the story of Pastor Maldo's, Pastor Maldonado's career. Steering damage. Of course. What is my own teammate doing? I blatantly had the corner there. Okay, let's try again here now. Oh, through the tunnel. Oh god, blind left-hander. Jeez. I only just saw that on my map at the last minute. Hill helps with the braking, I suppose. This is a fun little track, though. Very high speed. Got a nice draft on Navarro here. This track is pretty daunting, though. There's a lot of, of very high speed and blind corners. So you really got to get your braking points right. Drafting is going to be absolutely key around here as well. Bit of paint. Lost a bit of speed. Now we've got suspension damage, apparently. Look around the outside. Had to change the direction. Couldn't quite finish the move. Steer again. Is it, this is not a great track to have suspension damage, I'll say that much. Double shot there, in a little bit there. Somehow I was able to get away with it. Again. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but. Oh, a bit too much on the oversteer. Oh. Should have taken a wider line into that corner, but I was thinking about the, the pass a bit too much. Oh god! Oh no, no, no! Bugger. Well. Let's restart that one, shall we? <laughs> um, don't worry, I won't normally do things like that, but... Jeez. I was kind of shocked because of the damage in the first place, but now I'm a little bit more used to it now. I won't restart very many races like that again, thankfully. Trust me. I 
Out of the way, peasants. That's what Nico Rosberg says when he passes people. And there's the steering. Now, I'm not, I do not want steering damage again. Happened again. Jesus. No, that was, to be fair, that was me. <laughs> to be fair, that was mostly on me. But I got that completely wrong. Try to go around. Oh my god. Hit from behind. What happened there? Okay, 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 I will not do that again, but I think seriously, I got nailed from behind and I had no way of seeing anybody. That's good, but these cars don't have working wing mirrors. It's a problem with this game in general. For God's sake! <laughs> This is getting ridiculous now. My, my most clean attempt through this first corner was the first time I did it. What is the odds of that? Okay, let's gonna get on with this now. All right, we're in 11th, we'll take it, let's go. It's just frustrating when you can't see the AI behind you properly and then they hit you like that and then you spin and it's not your fault. It's very frustrating. It's a problem that they did with it's a problem that Need for Speed Shifts franchise had as well. When Slightly Mad Studios was making that game. Right, let's try this again. This one is actually quite fast. But then this one is basically a blind. Oh, God. My bad. I've asked your teammate to push for a higher position. I've got the line. Dive bomb worked quite nicely there. He's going very slow around that corner. Whoa! How did I get away with that? Man! We're in full Canamasis mode right now. We're going to barge you off the road. Uh. down the inside, that'll do. Very fast circuit this is though. God! How did I get that one wrong? At least I'm not down on power at least. If I was down on power, I'd be I'd be in more trouble than if I had steered in suspension damage for sure. Let's see if we can get Sophie Miller up there now. Got a good run out of the last corner. Let's open up the tap to see what this thing can really do around here now. And 
the back of Leo Turner. They got the break in for this corner completely wrong last time, so let's see what happens now. Oh, the grassy side. Turner's quite quick, actually. But the draft up the hill will definitely help, though. This is late as I dare. Bit of wheel contact! Ah! Okay, so fifth it is then. Oh, come on. Nice run out of the corner though. I might be able to steal a place on the line here. Ah! Couldn't quite get fourth. Car length behind. That was a frustrating race. You're ahead of your teammate in the driver standings. Just thinking what what could have been if I'd actually, you know, had a decent car and then I didn't make that mistake on on the final lap. I could I would have had third for sure. But fifth is not terrible. But we're now 21 points behind Rick Scott. It's going to be hard work to come back from there. I've pretty much got to win out the rest of the way now and hope Rick Scott doesn't come in second a couple of times. Uh... Right, round two. Let's see if this one works out any better. First corner incident. Relatively unscathed this time around. Just got to try and get through this early going as clean as possible. And there we can start thinking about the, the better positions and having a clean run. Open wheels and steering damage goes hand in hand. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The AI is quite slow around this last hairpin. I have engine trouble? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Flashback user. Again, I didn't think it would be going so slow through that opening corner. I took the inside line this time. There we go. Put a wheel on the grass. Right. We're sort of down on power a little bit. Let's see if we can still make some moves. Bumping with Sophie Miller again here. Yeah. 
all getting drafts off each other. Wheel to wheel. Force Miller to back off. Nice. Okay, into fifth again. Okay, a nice run out of this corner every time it happens, though. I think the AI seems to slow down around here when he can actually take it flat. You've set the fastest lap this race. Tick to the inside again, because they're going to take the wide sweep in line. I'm going to cut across the inside here. Drift it out wide and uh, past the apex. Look at me, I'm, trying to, I'm pretending to know what I'm talking about when it comes to racing. <laughs> it could be on for something nice here, though, if you can keep this going. The Raven West boys aren't a million miles away here. Trying to get a nice drive out here. Sold Kennedy the dummy. Any chance of a last minute dive bomb on, on Aaron Westley here, I wonder? Oh, yes, he's gone very slow around there. Oh! Okay, that was a bit aggressive on my part, my bad, but. We'll take second. It's a shame Rick Scott got the win in the end, but second is definitely better. Whew. Tough race that was. Solid effort. You got second over the finish line. Again, if I had one more lap, I would have definitely won. I just ran out of time more than anything else. So, still 27 points behind Scott in the championship. He needs he needs to have an off somewhere now, really, for me to win from here. But second wouldn't be too bad. When I level three, hooray! The love of the Piper Cross International GP Series. Which I'm sure sounds very fun. And now time for the cup events. The Garmin Sports Prototype Challenge. Remember, cup events do not count for overall standing. And uh, it's just a bonus event more than anything else. Um, for, for some extra XP, I'm guessing. So we're going, to, we're going to the north part of the Red Bull Ring for this one. Everyone in special caterums. They look interesting. <laughs> He's been looking like the favourite, so get ahead of him. Tobias Fischoff, one of the favourites for Intel Motorsport. It's a six lap race. Let's do it. This, this should be fun. Gonna be a short lap around here, though. Only about, what, 45 seconds, maybe less? And I have no idea how these cars are even gonna handle. So we're kind of firing blind into this. Oh god, we got a spinner. Things are in 10th after turn one, not bad. This corner is always so difficult. Okay, coming downhill, it's blind, it's a nightmare. Oh. oh, that gravel trap on the inside, whoa! Why put a gravel trap right there? Let's ask him for trouble. Has that guy lost his back wing? Alright, Harry, on to lap two. Up with the pace. Yeah, dude has lost his entire rear wing. That can't be good for downfalls.
This car's got incredible turning ability, my god. Like, you, just, you can just turn it in like full lock, it's ridiculous. That, that was an awesome corner. What are you doing, Tobias? I'm right here. I interfer Leo Heike and Tommy King, the two guys up the front. Oh, oh we got a spin up. You nudged me and damaged my steering. Of course. You've set the fastest lap this race. God. Barged him there. Hang on. I guess the penalty is fair reward for that, but like, I, it's so hard to get used to these cars, man. The braking is so sharp. It's a ridiculously fast race car. Like, I'm, it's, just, it's, it's like it's like driving those Red Bull X cars. You know what I mean? In, in the Gran Turismo six and five, where. The more confidence you have, the faster you'll drive it, because you're never quite sure where the limit is. You're leading. Hold on to it. I just tip that corner 70 mile an hour in third gear like it's no problem at all. Look how late do I dare to brake for this corner? I finally found a good breaking point. The 100 meter board actually works pretty well there. Yeah, I finally got I finally got an idea on where the limit is now in this car, where the bite point is. You've set the fastest lap this race. Thirty-nine point eight nine. Jeez. Right, last lap. Just gotta make it. Just gotta bring it home now. All right. Get the back out for the fans on the last lap. There we go. Bit scruffy, to be honest. I'm not particularly proud of that one, but oh well. 39.8 fastest lap. And a 10 game score achievement. Extracurricular. You've proved that you can drive anything by winning a cup competition in your career. Hooray! And another 5,000 XP on top of that as well, which is nice. Okay. Off to the final cup event, or for final event of the uh, overall tournament, I suppose, for the season. It's the Hockenheim short course. I'm confident about this one. I like the Hockenheim ring a lot, actually. But I need I need to win both of these and hope Scott runs into trouble, which is unlikely because Raven West start out from the front and they're in a field of their own. So Scott seems to be better than Wesley in this game anyway, so... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of playing for second here, and I know it, so... Kind of unfortunate, but we'll we'll, we'll try to see if we can make the best of it. If I won the first race in Abu Dhabi, then it might, I might have been onto something, but... You're having a great season. At the moment, you're second in the standings. Okay, let's see what happens. This, this, this turn one is going to be nasty. I'm slowing down right here for me right now. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Seven cars all messed up through that first turn. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. That first corner at Hockenheim always causes carnage. Right. I can't look and steer properly. Let's see what we can do. Oh, just sure because it's not the hairpin, of course. It's just a different kind of happen. Oh, 
god. I just had to back off there. Dude planted his car in a very audacious spot there. Steering damage here, of course. Okay, Harry, you're on pace. Make some gains on that too. This could be nasty here. Miller trying to move. Trying to move, got rejected, and I came around the outside. Nice. Better on the break in. Right, the two team kicker cars are up next. This is if it's going to be a matter of me not being as fast as I thought I was going to be, and the fact I'm probably going to run out of time. Those guys attack the apex very late. Whoa! Auto spin curbs! They've transitioned over from F1 2013. Okay, can we get to Raven West in time? I'm not entirely convinced. Oh god. That was kind of that was partially my own fault to be honest. I was dive bombing for a move that wasn't really there. Whoa. Saw Wesley put a wheel on the grass down. I thought, oh, attack! <laughs> God, Wesley is looking sh shaky out there. So much more coming to going into that stadium hairpin. And we got a good run on Rick Scott coming in. Can we win it? Round the outside! No way! Yes! What a move! Oh yes! Fantastic! And we get the win! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh man! That I did not see coming. I'll be honest. I, I'll be honest. I outbroke myself into that final corner and I thought, oh shit. And then it, it turns out that Rick Scott just took it so slow. I was able to come back into the inside and take the last corner. Awesome! So the gap's down to 21 points. Barring a miracle, I should definitely come in second now. I need Scott to spin, have, an in, have a hellacious accident or something along those lines to win the title. But at least that win should cement second. Just got to try and uh, not do anything too stupid here. Again, I'm just going to take this first corner very slowly. Oh god, got caught. Mangled the left hand side of my car. Okay, that worked out. Up into 
tenth. Thing is, it's only a three lap race, but it's a pretty darn short track. That's kind of the problem. Ninth. Tempted to dive it down Reese's apex there, but okay. Turn it again because I completely bodged up that corner. Yeeks, that was terrible. Again, nice draft there on Leo. So I've not spoken too much in, in this last run of, of, of uh, videos as well, but uh, you know, I am kind of. You've got to concentrate to drive these open wheels a little bit. Right, got a nice draft on Turner here. Just making sure I got the move confirmed. Doing the Ricardo, doing the dummy. Oh! Break, break, break to a little bit early than I thought I was gonna. I thought, I thought he was going to. Kind of frustrating, but. Okay, the two Raven West guys. Wesley's car there. You've set the fastest lap this race. Minor contact. We're into second. Scott. They are very slow around that corner. Very slow. Oh! Scott refused to be bullied. <laughs> Scott was like, you know, Dre, I'm having none of your shit. <laughs> I was like, okay. If that's how you feel, Scotty. No. You got a good run on him again here. Surely not again. Oh, just a couple of oversteer clicks. I oh, couldn't quite get the speed right for the for the corner, but second will do. Not bad. I guess that's kind of justice for my attempted move on him there, I suppose. Karma came back to strike me in the jaw when at least expected it. Beat. But without doubt... But without doubt, you know, um... I was the fastest guy in track by a mile, which I guess is also kind of reassuring. 19 points. I finished up with 116 in second place. And the team finished up in third, so not bad at all, really.
great season. Your team will be happy. You did everything they asked, and that's a clear message to the other teams that you mean business. 14,000 so, up to level 4 now, which is great. Second, and a win in the sports prototype challenge. That's not bad overall, really. Phew! Tricky event, that. That was tricky and a difficult one, but look at that. Level 4 now. 72,000 XP. Ugh. That was a slog, but we got there in the end. In fact, that might be two episodes worth of events. But I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Um, I think we'll probably be touring cars next time, but the vote will be down to you, as always. Until then, I've been Harrison101. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Sayonara.